are we doing? We are going to become expert putters. I need Terrific. this. Perfect. Okay. How do you think that's going to happen? Practice. Practice. And more practice. And more practice. <laughs> Cheating. Cheating. No, that's they, good. <laughs> definitely, you know, definitely it's all about practice, but then what do you practice? Right? That's the, really the what this class is about is what are you supposed to be doing to get that? Yeah. You can come out and grab putters and we talk for a minute and you've got a couple of different putters and you're trying to figure out if you're going to put one in or not. You know, you've mm -hmm. got a putter that we worked on and the putter we put a line on and all that kind of stuff. But you, you do all those Good kind line. of... I see yeah, that. The, all those things are, are, are needed. It's all part of it. But it's just like... Um, I like to, to, to paint a picture of, say, a totem pole and you're having to ca carve a sculpture out of a big piece of wood, right? Just a, just a log. The first instrument that you might take to it might be an axe or a chainsaw. Next instrument that you might take to it would be like a hammer and a chisel. Then eventually you might get all the way down to where you're just using some sandpaper. The problem with most of us is we start with a big axe, then we go to a chisel, then we go back to a big axe, then we go back to a chisel, and then we go back to a big axe, and we end up with, started with this massive log that we were going to create this perfect pole sculpture, and then we end up with a toothpick because of all the time we spend going at it with an axe, right? So part of what you're maybe experiencing, and we'll, I'll ask the question here in a second, but part of what you might be experiencing that you don't like in your putting might just be that much closer to becoming a better putter. I don't want you to think so negatively that you need reconstruction on everything all the time. It's always going to be baby steps, so whatever level you're at right now, you're, you could be at an axe or you could be at a hammer and a chisel, you could be at sandpaper, and I'm going to help you to figure that out. But don't go backwards with the tool that you're using. You just have to be more patient. 